Okay, we're gonna do a little mini project here. Um, and this is just for fun, so no stress. But you'll need a ruler, pencil, Sharpie, and something to color with, colored pencils or crayons probably, or pastels, anything that you can blend. So you're gonna start with a paper, um, preferably square, and you just want to divide it up. It doesn't have to be symmetrical. It can be if you would like it to be. So again, very low stress. So I'm gonna just divide mine up here into, there's four sections. Now I have six. I think I'll make mine eight sections. Okay, and I chose not to do mine even, <clears throat> but you certainly can if you want to. Eh, maybe I'll add one more or two. Okay, that's good. All right, now I'm going to go around and in each section I'm going to add an arc, four of them, okay, and sometimes they'll go off the paper, and you can decide here if you want to do arcs, continue to do arcs the whole way around, or if you want to turn the lines around and do smiley faces, so um, you can alternate between the two. I'm choosing to do arcs the whole way around. Okay, so if you chose to do the alternating every other one, that connecting line would be curved the opposite way like a smile instead of like a rainbow. Okay, so that's, I mean, they're both really neat looking. You just have to choose which way you want to do it. Or you could do smiley faces the whole way around. Either way. And this is definitely a project that you can you can start and then come back to. You don't have to do it all in one sitting. Um, maybe if you're working on your asynchronous work and you just want to have a little break to do some coloring, you can, especially once you get this part done. Okay, so I'm gonna keep doing this the whole way around. And you know, no worries if they're not perfect. We're not here for perfection, we're just having fun, trying to create a little op art. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose two colors that are relatively contrasting. So a light color and a dark color or a comp complementary like orange and blue. Some color combination that has some contrast. And I'm going to start coloring and I want the edges of each space to be really dark. Okay because I want to create the illusion of a hump, essentially, like a bump. Okay, so I'm dark at the edges, and then as I move up, it gets lighter. So the light is hitting basically that top crest of the hump that I am imagining. Okay, so you see how I start by kind of curving upwards. And then I'm creating almost like a value, not like a, I'm creating a value shift along this hump that I'm, I'm making. Okay, and you can, you can draw your lines kind of straight like I am, or you can arc them the whole way. I'll probably try it both ways as I work. But I'm just going all the way up. 
And as I move towards that center part, I'm just lightening my pressure. Okay, and going back if I need to, to get a better blend. But here right in the center, you see I'm just hardly touching the paper with my pencil or crayon or whatever you decide to use. And then I keep going back and I'm trying to fade that value a little. Okay. I'm gonna do, oop, I keep catching my paper. Same thing here up in the corner and then I'm gonna choose a contrasting color. Let's go with, let's go with blue since it's the complement of orange. So again, I'm going really dark where that, um, where that kind of conical form is going down into the crease. And then as I go upward, I am lightening up my value. Okay, and you can start to see that illusion of the cone popping out of the paper. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one more, just kind of showing you what I'm doing. Dark, dark on the edges, hard, starting to creep up the sides, oops. With that dark value, and then slowly lightening. I'm not gonna make you watch me do this whole paper. I'll do a time-lapse video of the rest of the coloring. But you will get the point. You really want that gradual value shift so that <clears throat> it appears as if it is rising in the center and popping out of my paper. Okay, you'll just keep choosing contrasting colors the whole way around. All right. So there's one section. Now I'm going to time lapse myself doing the rest of them. Okay, and I did it in one sitting. I could see how, you know, I would have probably preferred to um, to do a couple sections at a time, but for the purpose of the instructional video, I decided to just do the whole thing. I just kept picking um, contrasting colors the whole way around. Okay, and then as a last step, I love to um, just gently outline everything in Sharpie. And you'll notice the wax in the colored pencil causes a little bit of resistance with the Sharpie. So you could do Sharpie first if you wanted to, um, but I chose to wait until the end. So I'm just gonna go over my dividing lines first. Just like how it gives that extra bit of depth to those creases. Okay, and then I'm going to just go around over my pencil lines here as a last step.
You don't have to do the Sharpie if you don't want to, but it's a nice contrast if you like that, that look, which I happen to. But it's definitely a choice. Almost done. There you go. Maybe sign your name.